What? <clears throat> Pardon me. What's up, everybody? James Vapes here with a new episode. Today, I'm not doing a review. I'm doing a simple, simple little tutorial because there's some people, even, even some, trying to think, more experienced vapors that don't know how to do this. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot to do, and it saves money, but there's some vapors out there that are new, well, a lot of the newer ones, and there's some that aren't exactly new, that don't know how to do this, so I figure, hell, I got the stuff, I might as well do it, and so I'm going to do it anyway for uh, what I usually do for it, or do it for, and... Might as well put it on camera to show some people how it's done, so in case they didn't know. Now, these are all brand new LG HB2s. They're mainly the only battery I use in my mod, because to me it's a good all-purpose battery. I use it in my Max, I use it in my regulated, I use it in my Elgin regulated, and I've never had a problem with them. The only problem I have with, the, with, with batteries is... As you can see, and yeah, a lot of people they just write on them with marker to because with a lot of mods, like with my e leaf, I stick 100 200. or the noisy cricket, which I have the upgrade kit on. Which I'm probably going to do a video showing how well the upgrade kit works here soon. But I haven't even tried it yet. Oops. Or my Omega BMF. Or Because those all take multiple batteries that are to be married. Or even just the normal FM copper. It takes one battery. You throw a whole bunch of these with all the same wraps in your charger. And... Unless you sit there and remember or write down and keep track of meticulously what battery you or, or you put in what slot, you're not always going to remember what batteries go to which mod, and then you're going to get them mixed up, you're going to kill battery life. So, I am going to show you what I do. Now, a lot of people, whenever they rewrap batteries... They make these, they make elaborate custom little sleeves they print out, roll up, stick in there, which is nice. But for me, it's simple. Or also even for people that like to use the normal wrap. But, if you turn around and just add a normal wear and tear, something like this happens. Boom, that's an unsafe battery to use. That'll blow up. Good chance of it. So, what I do is take the wrap off, and I'll probably show you on a couple of these. So, at least we get a couple just to be on the safe side. Because it's not that hard. It's not expensive at all. I'll tell you right now. I go to I I buy I go to lithium ion wholesale.com, which is L I I O N dot com. L I I O N wholesale.com. And I buy my batteries from there. They're all guaranteed to be authentic tested. Uh -oh. Let's see, that's one bad thing. Because now, I'm going to get it. Okay, that was quick and easy. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I go to lithiumionhotel.com to get my batteries. And I get my wraps, which, for what I, the way I do it, there's all different color wraps. I mean, you can color code your batteries if you want. Like, you can color code them for whatever, that way you know your orange batteries go to your Aztec, your blue batteries go to your noisy cricket, all that happy stuff. To see these insulators on the 18650s do come off. But you can get all these at lithium I on wholesale.com. But what I do, it's kind of a cheap way, but I like it. I use let me get them over here. Clear wraps. I use normal address labels, peel and stick kind, or I can just peel off like FM copper. I peel it off, I put it on the battery, and then I have different like the little yard sale price tag stickers put the number one on there take one of my clear wraps and of course it doesn't want to activate because the camera's on Just a little bit to get it over without messing up the sticker. Okay. Then you can buy a heat gun or like I did. And I'm going to warn you this is going to get a little bit loud. I just use a normal hair dryer. Put my finger there. This is going to get loud. So I'm just going to explain to you real quick. You just let the hot air run along the battery. And you can and you'll watch it shrink as I'm doing it. I'm also blowing everything away here. Usually didn't take that long, that must have been just a 
a little bit of a mess up wrap, but yeah, that quick. FM copper, fresh battery. Perfect. Safe, easy. Now, told you I'm going to do a couple of these real quick. Just show you a quick and easy. I'll put the Omega BMF because this is a dual battery mod. I'll use number two on this one. See, technically, if you want. Is what I'm gonna do right now. I gotta get that paper blew away because the one that blew away has my other has my noisy cricket stickers on it. And you don't have to put them on there straight. You don't have to put them on there straighter than hell. It's up to you. You know, put them all in the same place. Hold just one second. I'm just going to put these stickers on because probably after the video I'm going to do the other batteries that I haven't done. One thing I was hoping for, but it's getting later in the day. It's about quarter till eight here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. And honestly, I want to be able to watch Raw. I'm a big wrestling fan, so I'm not going to lie to anyone. So I want to get these done. The one thing I was hoping for was the 26650 I got today was charged up enough, and it's not. I actually charged all five of these batteries and the 26650 on my uh, eFest charger, the one that has the Bluetooth capabilities. Because I wanted to show you on the 26650 batteries, the insulator does not come off the battery. At all. I mean, I'm sure if I picked at it with my razor, I could get it to come off, which both of them reminds me. Safety first. I've just done that to begin with. So these can go in the garbage. Grab a quick drink. But yeah, I charged all five of these at the same time as the 26650. Which, honestly, I'm actually going to stop with this right now. Because, just to show you, I did that one. There's just 26650 wrap. One second. <clears throat> Boom. Now with the 26650, folks. Sorry about that. Just had to walk to the other side of the room real quick. Quick little shout out to my fiance who does my tattoos. <laughs> now, I, you can see it's an E-Fest. I'm not going to get into that argument. E-Fest is considered a rewrap by a lot because it's not one of the four, it's not made by one of the four battery companies. To me though, at least with the 26650s, I've only ever used E-Fest 26650s and I trust them because I've never had a problem with them. That quick. Grab my dreadnought sticker. So I am kind of glad that this worked out. But that ended up finishing charging while this video was going on. Dreadnought is my favorite battery. Well, my favorite, my favorite of my Max. I got to admit that it was the first one I got from a buddy of mine, Jerry. 
he bought it didn't really like it too much he said it suited me because I'm more of a I don't know metalhead more out there than he is so I got it from him I love it I wouldn't trade my dreadnought for anything in the world it is authentic you've seen it and a lot of you people who have been watching my videos have seen it it's my dreadnought makes an appearance while I was in Arizona the battery for it crapped out so I had to get rid of it but and I was using another battery that goes to that is going to go to a custom made mod I'm going to have made and finally I was like you know what fuck that I need a new battery just for my dreadnought and like I said the insulator doesn't come off on these and there is, as far as I've seen, there is no uh, 26650s that are made and branded by Sony, Panasonic, LG, uh, or, um, crap, I can't remember the fourth one. But there are no batteries branded by the four major battery companies. I cannot remember the fourth major battery company. My dreadnought is actually in the other room, so I'm not going to be able to put it in, but, yeah, hold on. That quick. Dreadnought batteries done. So yeah, it's not a long process. As you've seen, most of the time for this for this video, I've spent just BSing to y'all about this kind of, about wrapping batteries. I got into it out of a need at first because I had a battery wrap crap out on me to the point of being unsafe. I couldn't find. I heard all these heard about all the shops and stuff. Well my local shop doesn't do rewraps. Or at least they didn't. just that easy there I did what one two three batteries and it's only because of working on the working on the camera and everything I didn't do the rest of them as quickly but yeah so I'm gonna turn around and in this video I will post the link to with you and I on wholesale dot com in the description the wraps you can get for I think it's ten for a buck buck fifty pre cut you can buy rolls of it if you want to cut it yourself I'd rather just get the pre cut that way I know I can just bink, bink, just pick it up I mean hell they don't want they want to slide right right there just 
instead of having to worry about cutting them and all that happy crap measuring them out everything I'd rather just do that but yeah I'll put the link to lithium ion wholesale in the description also if you like this video make sure you cut make sure you like subscribe because once I hit 500 subscribers I am going to do the giveaway and the uh, pancake man and French dude juice and who knows maybe I'll throw something else in there all depends on how fast we get to 500 subs I've still got to do my review on it I'm actually trying to find some at a decent price for y'all just to show you where to go uh, but yeah I love y'all, matter of fact, because I love my goon. I don't even know what's in here. Honestly, it was still juiced up from the last review I did, so I think it's the... I honestly think it's the uh, swirl from Dark Market Vapors. I know in here it's no I think it's spun from dark market vapors it's on here I know it's swirled it's in here really so and yeah it's just Simple I stick 200 with the baby beasts on it. And this is my FM copper with my goon. But yeah, I've got, uh, I'm going to do an update video on the noisy cricket with. The safety upgrade kit. Which you can see it's got the insulator on there. I'm just gonna give you a quick brief because I haven't even fired this yet. I'm actually one of the one of the batteries I wrapped is for it, and as you can see, it's no longer the safety upgrade kit is no longer a hybrid. But I'm gonna hop off here and get this get the stuff done for this video to get it up on YouTube. I love y'all. Keep it cloudy. God bless y'all. You're my family. I love you. God bless you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Go to kasa.org. The link will be in the description below. To uh, sign up to fight for your right to vape. And yeah. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, hit me up on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Google+, Twitter, Instagram. I usually post a picture on Instagram if, uh, anymore. I just started doing it with the last review I did. Of whatever I'm going to review. Or do a video on right before I do the video. But keep it cloudy people. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.